In this video, you will discover the different types of insulations and the pros and cons of each one. Insulation materials can be divided into three groups. Firstly, mineral insulation. These are made from natural materials such as volcanic rock, sand, or even recycled glass. These materials are industrially transformed to produce wool. The mineral wools used for most insulation are glass wool and rock wool. Producing these types of insulation is not very ecological. The process of transforming primary materials into wool uses a lot of energy and releases a lot of CO2 into the atmosphere. The advantages of this type of insulation are their low cost and their fire resistance. These insulations can cause irritation. If you're handling this type of insulation, protect yourself with a mask, gloves and protective glasses. Secondly, synthetic insulation. Synthetic insulation is created from crude oil. Some examples of synthetic insulation are polyurethane and polystyrene foam. The pros of this type of insulation are their cost and their strong insulating capacities, meaning you can use a thinner layer. However, these types of insulation are created from non-renewable primary materials. Thirdly, biosourced insulation. Biosourced insulation comes from plant or animal-based materials. Here are some examples of biosourced insulation. Hemp, cotton wool, wood wool or sheep's wool, straw, feathers, cork, and pulp wadding from recycled newspaper. The strength of this type of insulation is its low ecological impact. Manufacturing them requires little energy consumption and the primary materials used are renewable. These insulations are treated with fire retardant. They are, however, manufactured in small quantities and are therefore expensive to buy. Now you're familiar with the different types of insulation. When deciding on insulation for your home, seek advice from a professional to find a solution that meets your individual needs.